When I'm out cycling, I just reflect back to when I couldn't even do these things. You take for granted that your health is always going to be there, and when it's taken away from you, it's, it's really quite daunting. I'm Keith Hobbs, I'm 57 and I live in Long Itchington. I was very fortunate just before my 55th birthday to retire, um, which I've been thinking about for some time. A good friend of mine always says that you never lie in your deathbed and say, I wish I worked more. All my plans were to go on more holidays, do all the sports that I want to do. Um, and sadly, um, I got this chronic back problem. I'm very fortunate, I've got a tight-knit family that um, they stood behind me and supported me really well in these situations. The big thing when I found out that it was probably quite serious was probably some four or five months after retiring and having my life taken away from me um, physically and a person that really wants to do physical fitness was quite a hard pill to swallow. I couldn't walk, I couldn't stand, I couldn't actually get to a physiotherapy, the pain was so acute. And I uh, ended up going to see a physio who said to me, I'm in quite a bad condition, I need to go and get an MRI or see a specialist. And once they'd seen my MRI scans, diagnosed that I have spinal stenosis, which is actually a trapping of the spinal cord um, at L4, L5 vertebrae. I was only 55, so I thought it was quite, quite poor for me, really, to, to know this, this great future ahead of me was almost quashed. And I actually saw two surgeons at local private hospitals, um, the first saying the risks were too great to operate, you should really just accept this is going to be life going forward, um, and just take painkillers for the rest of your life as well. I could never leave the house without that paranoia of not having tablets. When you plan for something for so long and, uh, um, Sorry. Um, forgive me, forgive me. Yeah, when you plan so long to actually do the things that you want to do um, and, and map your life out to do those things, when it's when you hear from, from particular surgeons that say, you're not gonna be able to do those things again, just accept it as a fact. When you think potentially I've got 30 odd years left ahead of me, all things being equal, who knows? I was seeing a chiropractor that was helping massively with this. He spoke to me and said, there's only one particular surgeon that I'd, I'd recommend. And he said, somebody practices at the Spire Parkway in Solly Hall. And he said, oh, he's got a great reputation. I pay monthly for my health care. I contacted the insurance company. They need to check whether the particular surgeons are covered under their scheme. And I was very fortunate to know that he was covered under their scheme. I loved his positivity. And he said, there are some, some sort of real risks that I need to make you aware of, but I could potentially change your life. And with the pain that I was going through, we finally decided um, for a day to have the operation. The duty of care and the way that the nurses and everybody that I had was, was dealt with just literally gave me so much consideration. Everybody was so courteous um, and prepared me for the operation that afternoon. The situation improved day on day, the care was exceptional. I've seen throughout the year, check things are right, have more x-rays to check that the screws and the bolts are all in the right places, which fortunately they are. I'm just looking forward to now trying to enjoy life and uh, doing the things in life that were taken away from me. I am indebted for what they did to change my life because I've just been so pleased with everything that I've had from them um, and thank them so much for changing my life. It means such a lot.